Electrical Services. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV, of which my arm is getting so rolled in. <laughs> so we've, we've uh, moved over to one of the uh, satellite little classrooms. This is the, well, it's actually the nursery. Look at me, like a taking claim of all this moody old work. There's nothing to do with me, mate. It ain't do with me. So, yeah, basically, we've done the test here. I've covered it over because we've done the stickers five years ago so this one looks all right most of it's all rc the rcbo's in it yeah what is it the disabled alarm and the intruder the only two that ain't so i reckon this will be all right what do you reckon it's gonna be like inside standard i reckon pretty neat i reckon yeah, yeah. i think yeah i think that last one wasn't, wasn't too bad yeah it's pretty spot on to be fair right let's uh get it off i don't know if they're still going good luck to you if you are yeah it looks quite neat it left a bit of slack the old grommet strip was a bit ropey in it it's just a bit of tape in it but it's doing the job observations quite a lot of uh, cable left in the board though isn't it but yeah. it's all right well let's get all these uh, flash guards off and all that and have a quick look at it all yeah right you go unscrew one there one there right do you want to put the screw cover screws and all that out outside yeah yeah the right touch that light don't work so looks all right looks pretty neat doesn't it it's yeah. surprising how much cable they've left in there though isn't it the right touch if anyone has ever has to change this i suppose yeah that i suppose they're all going to be they're going to be ac type rcbo's how can you justify changing that that's one thing, that's one thing though. See them, look, look at the size of those compared to the old, you know, the ones we've been doing recently? Yeah. They're like uh, absolute piss flaps, aren't they? But we, what we do is we do the main test, we get that all done, disconnect the earth and all that, and then we put that flash guard back on because that's just a fucking sick yeah. signal, isn't it? It's like Hellraiser. It's an arson awesome point to blow up. It's just, well, it's not blow up, it'd blow, up, it'd blow your hand off. So we don't always do the figure of eight at the socket. Sometimes we do them at the board. It's a bit of a nightmare. So it's going to be a 50-50 if they're around the right way. And I tell you what, I think I might even do uh, line liner neutral as well, which uh, doesn't always get done. You know what I mean? But I remember in my last NIC inspection, they pulled us up on that. Well, I remembered it anyway, because somebody else mentioned it on here. And, I dropped it and he was sweet. This one ain't so tidy, is it? Yeah, so this one ain't so uh, tidy. So basically this is a satellite classroom. And I think what you got is you got the power at the top and I think you got the lights at the bottom where it's all metered as well. Nice, got all the CTs and all that here. Just dabbled up in there. That's just all green made. It's all crimped on. Looks nice. Basic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's start breaking it down and getting. Let's start breaking it down and getting involved. Yeah. I think Ebsy's been doing private jobs here. Look, all the brackets are pissed. All the rods are pissed, aren't they? That's a that's an absolute GM of a job, isn't it? Look at that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all them these days, isn't it? All basket. <laughs> right, so it's Friday morning, and we've just come over to the uh, the the hall to. Uh, we've got two boards to do here. This, this little Schneider one, this looks like the new version of the Active 9, which is lovely, isn't it? I love these boards. I'm surprised. So basically, see that, that's an ISO switch there. So that goes over like that. So I think that, I think this should be standard in every single fuse board and consume in it, because even, even as a, a short isolation, you can just flick that across, put the board cover off builders and stuff like that. I know you can obviously say lock off and pull this, you know, we always take the circuit out, but you know, it's not always in the real world. You know what I mean? But that is a perfect, I thought, thought I'd quickly show you that. 
nice little ball so these will see the timers and stuff we have to figure out what that's for i think that's the underfloor heating and it or is that the meters they might be the meters that's a definitely a timer that might be a meter it's got the cts links there that is definitely a meter that one all right it's the little village hall so we're just gonna crack on no doubt i'll see you in a bit with it it's all brand virtually brand new isn't it i never tested this last time because i think this was also under the five year uh, of it being built. I think it's only about four or five years old. Well, let's crack on. So what we're basically doing here is because uh, we don't want to disrupt these uh, plates. These, uh, so basically these are plug-in ceiling rows, like the standard. I forgot where I've not got my van with me, I've got my car. I've, uh, we've not got the uh, plug top that we've adapted, but where this is under, Five years old. What we're doing is we're just doing the, the R2 readings. We're wonder leading them all, Ebs, aren't we? Yeah. Because see, with the fire sealed it, it must be in for the building. But we don't really want to damage the ceiling or anything, do we? And we've got no suspicion of any undoing because normally we'd like to do the loops and most of them anyway because they've obviously been all in play and as advised by the regulations and the NIC EIC is that if. Uh, it's been tested before, the loops are, are sufficient. There's no need to do the R1, R2, but on this occasion, we are FC. Yeah. We don't always play by the rules, do we, Ed? Eh? <laughs> oh, man. I'd have loved this hole. I'd have loved this hole as a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, me and, my, me and my mates used to get here, used to get to school half hour early because you used to have to put the chairs out for assembly yeah. and we'd just play football for like <laughs> constantly for 25 minutes and the headmaster used to go absolute bonkers but he knew he knew that was a crack <laughs> like you know it was a part of doing it you set the chairs up you get a guaranteed 25 minutes of indoor football isn't it me and Ebs just doing this test here and i'll quickly show you this as as well this earth bar so obviously to do the main loop coming in what is it the ZE? ZE yeah. yeah ZE coming in what what they do have is obviously we've got the power off because we've got the isolator there turned off the main switch is what you can do is swing this link round here to, to to get it off there so that's the easiest way to get rid of all the parallel paths yeah yeah that's what we're going to do to get the result yeah heavy sometimes i trip on how happy we can be well so i'll just give you a quick tour of this so basically that's the main head there comes through there goes through there then obviously comes round i'm not sure if it goes in and out that power in and out there or that just goes down to there i'm not too sure we'll have a little look into that but we're uh I'll give you a quick tour. These are really nice, these MCCBs. Obviously, because what you've got is you've got a torque setting. So you get these and you, you tighten them up and they shear off when they're in place. The only the only drawback that I've, I think I've seen from these is you could actually put like this free phase across the wrong, the wrong phases. So you could actually start it on L2 and end it up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's one of the drawbacks from these. I've seen that, but or well, some of them, some of them do come. Some of again? some of them, I don't know if they're this brand, but some of them do come like where they're handed, so you do get like an L1, L2, L3, where they do fit in there. But it's been a while, and I don't want to take all these apart. We're just having a quick look for thermal, but it's always quite interesting. We used to do quite a lot of these. See these things here, Ebs. So Sorry. you see on the back spine. Sure that. That's where you can hold them, so they're all f all secure. All, all good, doesn't it? Really? Is that too bad? Yeah. You've got the uh, oh surge protection. Is there? Is that surge? We'll take that lid off and have a look and see if that's surge protection. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. I think that might be it there. That might be surge. Is that surge? See. Well, we'll have a little look, go for it all. Yeah, we're going to put the lid back on before we energise it anyway. That's one thing for sure. Right, nice one. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you're going to be anything, then be electric. Imagine not being an electrician. Sod that. <laughs>